Hey everyone, welcome to Fireside Gaming. Uh, this is Billum, and I'm doing a small retro gaming update. As you guys know, I have been collecting Armored Core games over the past several years. Um, it's a series I played a lot whenever I was a kid, back in high school with friends and stuff like that, and I decided I wanted to play more of them. Uh, that resulted in me going back and uh, buying some of the PS1 ones, which I've got two reviews up on the channel, uh, one for the first Armored Core game and then one for Project Phantasma. And in my collecting, I've been uh, searching and searching and searching for more of these games. They've, they've gotten a, a bit harder to find lately, uh, especially with all like the big game jumps and everything like that, like in prices and scarcity and stuff because collectors and, and in the speculation market. But um, I'm very much a I collect my games physically in store. So while I could have completed my collection a long time ago if I used like eBay or, you know, something like that. I instead like to try and find them from local game stores around me. And today, well not today, sorry, last week, I found the final Armored Core game I needed to complete my collection. And that is Armored Core Silent Line, or Silent Line Armored Core for the PS2. It's called, it's called Armored Core 3 Silent Line in Japan, which makes a heck of a lot more sense. But uh, I found this at a, uh, not like, how do I put it? I wouldn't call them super local. They're about a 45 minute drive from me though, so not too bad. They got a copy in, I saw it on their Facebook page. And so I went and checked it out and it has the manual, which is a little, little rough, but it's in pretty good shape. It's got the disc, which, you know, is just fine. Like literally looks like, you know, it's barely been played. So that's all good. The only thing that I'll note is uh, I got this for loose price because it originally wasn't in a PS2 case. It was in a generic case, so it didn't have the memory card holder and stuff. I switched it to a PS2 case. And during that process, my gosh, I had to be careful with the spine because there was leftover sticker residue from, uh, if you guys remember, GameStop used to put their stickers on the art inside the case and I actually had to take the old case and cut off the uh, the plastic on the edges and then use like a mixture of like goo gone and easy peeling to get it off and everything but I have I have spare PS2 cases so I switched it out I got it for loose price and now it's you know complete uh, so that was really really cool and with this I have completed my collection of armored core games Probably. There, there's a couple uh, things I'll address in just a moment. But uh, in order, let's just go through them real quick. I now have Armored Core for the PS1. Complete. It's in good shape. This isn't even how I played it whenever I reviewed it. I have the PSN copy. Um, so that's, that's what I was doing with that. We have Project Phantasma which, a uh, cracked case, that happens with these jewel cases sometimes. Um, I know you can buy replacements, I've considered doing so, and I might end up doing that for this one. We have Master of Arena, which is a recent find. Uh, I picked this up at Southeast Game Exchange just a uh, few weeks ago, a month ago maybe now. Um, I showed it off in that video, if anyone's interested to see what else we found there. And then moving on to the PS2 games, we have Armored Core 2, which is complete. We have Armored Core 2, Another Age, which is also complete. This is one that's been sitting on my shelf forever. This is the one I played mostly in high school, was, was Another Age. Um, and I haven't played it since then. I'd actually really like to, but yeah. And then we move on to Armored Core 3. This is probably uh, this is probably one of the cheapest Armored Core games to find. Uh, it usually doesn't go for too much. It in the twos, actually. Um, so if you're looking for like a good entry point and you don't want to shell out a lot of money, um, Armored Core 2 and 3 are really good places to start. And then after 3 comes Silent Line, which we've shown off already. And then we get Armored Core Nexus, which is another game that I picked up 
at Southeast Game Exchange. It's a dual disc game. Uh, one disc is the actual main story. Uh, sorry if you can hear my son. He's in that screaming phase where he just wants to yell, just to yell. Not that anything's wrong with him. But uh, the first game is the main. The first disc is the main story. The second disc is a bunch of uh, redone story, like redone missions from previous games. Like I think it has the entirety of Project Phantasma as well as like some extra missions to play it from. Uh, the bad guy's perspective, if I'm remembering what I've read right. I've never played this one yet. But, it's complete. It's in good shape. Another fun Southeast Game Exchange find. Had a lot of fun there this year. Uh, love to go back next year and planning to. And then we have Nine Breaker, which this one, this one was really hard to track down. I actually almost picked it up at Southeast Game Exchange last year, but the, uh, the booth that had it was only accepting cash and not cards. And I had ran out of cash, and there were so many people there that the ATM inside the uh, the convention center place it takes place in uh, was out of money. So I literally was like, ah, I can't, I can't do anything about it. But luckily, I found it on a road trip, um, traveling to do some visiting with family and stuff like that. Me and the wife stopped at some random stores, and I found it there. Um, I have that in a video somewhere when I when I talk about that. I don't remember though, or have I done a video for that? I can't remember. There were several games that I bought that just never ended up getting shown off because um, it was uh, a hectic time and I didn't have time to actually do it. Like we picked up uh, Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance 2, Grandia Extreme, which I think I posted that one to Twitter, but I might not have done a video on it. Um, maybe I'll go back and show those off since I've brought it up now. Uh, just do like one big video, but I... I don't know. And then we have, for the PSP, Armored Core Formula Front Extreme Battle. And it is complete. It is right there. I'll probably end up ripping this UMD because my PSP does not like to read disc anymore. So instead I just download everything off of it and then put it on it as a digital file so I can play that way. And then we have Last Raven, which is unfortunately incomplete. It is not an original PS2 case, it is missing its manual, and I would love to... I mean, I could replace it into a PS2 case, no problem, I just haven't yet, um, because I'd like to find a manual first before I do that. So this is one that I'm still going to be looking for a manual for. Uh, you can find those sometimes at conventions and stuff like that, and I keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. So that's, that's on the list. And while I'm talking about it, uh, I'll go ahead and bring this up. Um, I said Formula Front, and I said I was done collecting Armored Core games, but if I ever happen to find a PS2 copy of this game, which only came out in Japan, but has full English um, dialogue because it was set for a US release that just got cancelled, um, I would pick it up because it has bonus missions and stuff that's not available on this version of the game. And in Japan, if I'm remembering correctly, the original version of the of this on the PSP doesn't have as many missions as this one does, and I don't think it allows you to control your your ACs. You have it's it's all AI training, which I think is a feature in Silent Line, and this game just kind of like full leaned into it. But in this Extreme Battle version we got in the US, you can control your ACs and play through missions and stuff like that. Just to, just to cover those two things, and then we've got. Armored Core 4, which uh, this is the first one I picked up on the 360. It feels wrong. If I'm being honest, uh, all of the other Armored Core games are on PlayStation consoles. It legitimately feels kind of wrong to have this on 360. But um, the PS3 versions go for 10 or 15 bucks more, something like that, than the 360 versions, and I couldn't find them typically. Um, this was one that I went ahead and picked up because I was like, well, I want the game, so it really shouldn't matter to me that it's not on a Sony console. It'll just take a little bit to get used to, like, recognizing button prompts and stuff, since I'm so used to the PlayStation controller layout at this point. But, uh, funnily enough, the copy of Armored Core 4 Answer I have is on PS3. And it's complete. And some of you might be wondering about uh, save transferring, because that's a feature in Armored Core games. Now, I have never played past the 
PS2 generation of Armored Core games. But from my understanding, the only data that transfers between Armored Core 4 and 4 Answer is your logo or your, your emblem. There it is, your emblem that you create that shows up on your mech. Um, I think that's the only thing that transfers from my understanding. So it's not like the previous games where you could transfer money and parts and stuff like that. It's just your emblem. And at that point, I can sit down in the editor and remake the emblem. I wasn't too worried about being able to transfer data one way or the other because of that. And then we have Armored Core 5. Um, this one, I can't remember if it's this one or the next one has like a bad rep with fans because it was a mostly online game. And I mean, if you want like a sign of that, the manual is itty bitty. But um, yet again, have it on 360. Weird, but uh, I'll get used to it. And you know, that's, that's complete as well. And then we have Five Verdict Day, which was another pickup at uh, Southeast Game Exchange. Um, this one was sealed. It was actually brand new whenever I picked it up. I opened it in that video. And strangely enough, uh, it has no manual. I guess that's just how this game came brand new. But I have it, and that's cool. It's kind of weird. Do all, all the game cases have? No. That's weird that it has an extra disc slot. Sealed? Am I wrong? Maybe I should. Maybe I should go look that up. I don't know. Either way, not a big deal. I have the game itself. That's what I'm interested in playing. And with that, I have my full collection of Armored Core games. Like I said, the only things I'm interested in uh, still seeking out is maybe a PS2 copy of Formula Front. Um, I do know that some conventions, uh, Southeast Game Exchange in particular, has. Um, one retailer that specifically imports and sells uh, Japanese games. So I might find it through them. I might find it somewhere else. It's possible. I've seen imports at my local game stores before. It's been kind of odd. I picked up a, a Super Robot Wars game a while back that way. Um, so yeah, that and then a manual for Last Raven are the only two things I'm looking for now. So that's that's Armored Core complete on collecting. That's a major milestone for my channel. Uh, for me as a, as a collector, I'm going to get to play all of these games, which, I mean, I've, I've played several Armored Core games and love them, and now I just have even more Armored Core games to play. Uh, and it means that whenever I get around to, you know, reviewing them, I don't have to worry about like, oh shoot, I have I don't have this game, uh, you know, I gotta wait and, and do it another time and everything and maybe put the series on hold or whatever. Not that I review too quickly in a row anyways, just because I like to try and avoid burnout on playing the same type of game over and over again. But whenever I do next return to Armored Core, it will be with Master of Arena on the PS1, and I'm, I'll be really excited to jump to the PS2 since that's the uh, the bread and butter, if you will for me, because that's when I played Armored Core was uh, PS2. I played uh, Armored Core 2, Armored Core 2 Another Age, Armored Core 3, Armored Core Last Raven, and I think I think those four were the four that I remember playing in high school with, uh, with two, or no, sorry, with Another Age being the one I played the most. But either way, Thank you for stopping by. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you've got any, you know, likes, comments, subscriptions you want to throw my way, I am always appreciative of that kind of stuff. And as always, take it easy.